Hey guys, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of God, the most kind, the most compassionate. Um, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, wholeness, serenity, security of God be upon you. And I wanted to make a video today about cardinine. I've made a video in the past, but I want to talk about my favorite way to use it. So this morning, I happened to wake up super early, so I went to the gym um, and... I'm trying to lose fat. That's my primary reason for like uh, my workout right now. And so I intended to do two hours of elliptical, right? I do one hour, then a, uh, then a um, warm down and then another hour. So my favorite way is like I train for oxidative capacity in minimal time. So like I try to do like 15 minutes and see like in 15 minutes right now, I can burn 350 calories on the elliptical machine. Now that's whether it's 350 calories or not, it doesn't matter. But on the machine, I'm trying to get up to 400, which means I'm burning more than I was before, right? Within the same time amount. So 300. So I've worked my way up to 350 and I'm trying to work up my way up. Uh, but my favorite way to use cardinine isn't actually to train for oxidative capacity, even though I do use it for that. My favorite way is to actually use it for like oxidation of maximal calories no matter the amount of time so if i go too fast like the first hour i'm going to be too worn out to commit to another hour right and there's no way that i'm going to be about to burn the same amount of calories that i do in one hour that i can in two that's just not going to happen it's not possible at least for me and so i want to go at a pace where like okay so this is this is where the cardinine comes in right so your body has two things it has multiple metabolic processes to generate energy the primary one is you have glucose in your blood from food from carbohydrate consumption and you use that glucose to feed the uh, feed the energy of the muscle and the oxygen you breathe in to feed the the oxidation in the muscle um, but the other process is catabolic where you're cat catabolizing muscle and then the next one is cat catabolizing fat there's two two cut up you can catabolize white fat or you can catabolize brown fat brown fat will actually be catabolized uh, before protein in most cases now here's the thing now this is kind of like a nuanced thing where the cardinine comes in so please bear with me um, hopefully for not too long you'll get it in a second uh, cardinine um, the brown fat see your body it, it is trained to only be able to burn brown fat at a certain rate right you're trained to only be able to burn brown fat at a certain rate so if you exceed the end if your energy demand exceeds the rate at which you can oxidize brown fat you begin to catabolize muscle and there's a lot of oxidative stress on your body there might even be a cortisol response if you uh, sustain that high energy demand when your fat oxidation capacity of your mitochondria is lower than that energy demand they can actually be really stressful for your body so the cardinine for me comes in cardinine lets me go forever right so i like going at a lower pace so i'm not going breakneck like i'm not trying to do like um what i can do in 30 minutes times two in the hour i'm just trying to like go where like i'm getting a workout i'm sweating a little bit i'm feeling good i'm using energy um, I'm not going to too low, so if I'm really pushing myself, I can do 700 calories in one hour, maybe 710, 720 sometimes, but I'm really going for over 600. Um, around 650 is what I'm going for, and if it's a little bit under, I'll keep going a minute or two past the hour so that I get to the 650, right? And um, my favorite way, so today I just went for two hours and what that does is I'm keeping my energy demand so that my oxidative capacity is capable of oxidizing fat for that long. I'm not catabolizing muscle, it's just a constant oxidation and constant energy demand that your body is able to meet with the cardinine because your mitochondria are functioning better um, over time. So I like taking cardinine and just getting on like an elliptical machine for like two and a half hours, three hours. I'm working up to it. Like I've done two hours and 50, I did two hours and 15 minutes today. And between the two hours, like I did, um, I did, I just warm uh, active recovery, like on a treadmill, like at two miles per hour, just walking for 50 calories, you know? 
So that's my favorite way to use carnitine to get rid of fat is to make sure that I'm not I, I'm not exceeding uh, you know I'm not starting to catabolize muscle but that I just keep going for as long as I can and like today I burned 1200 calories right um, and you know eventually I was doing 2000 on some days and so just just burning off calories on carnitine becomes so easy as long as you're willing to put in the time. And I know that's not my favorite thing either to just get on like a elliptical and be on it for two hours. You know, it gets boring. Maybe you can go for runs. The thing is I have bad joints, so I can't really run a lot. And this elliptical machine works for me. Anyways, that's my favorite way to use carnitine. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, talk to you soon. Leave any comments. Please like. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel going with all types of different types of content. So please like, please subscribe, uh, please comment below. And I'd appreciate it. Talk soon. Bye.